Our cornea is a clear window on the front of our eye that acts as a lens to focus light. The inner lining of the cornea is called the endothelium, and this is responsible for keeping the cornea clear. In some people, the corneal endothelium stops working, and the cornea becomes waterlogged and cloudy. The commonest reasons for this are an inherited weakness of the corneal cells, called Fuchs dystrophy, or complications following previous surgery. Additionally, the endothelium may stop working following viral infections in patients with glaucoma and in patients who've had previous corneal transplants. We are born with all the endothelial cells we need to last our lifetime, and the endothelium cannot replicate. If it's damaged, therefore, at present, the only thing that can be done is to replace the endothelium. In the past, replacing the damaged endothelium meant replacing the whole cornea with a procedure termed a penetrating or full thickness transplant. In the past two decades, there have been great strides in corneal transplant surgery, so that now we can selectively replace the endothelial cells without removing the other healthy layers of your cornea. This new procedure is termed a DMEC. The eye is stronger, the vision is better, and the vision recovers quicker following DMEC surgery compared to full thickness corneal transplantation. The long-term risks following transplantation, such as rejection of the graft and glaucoma, are also much lower with DMEC surgery compared to penetrating or full thickness transplantation. In DMEC, a healthy layer of endothelial cells are prepared from a donor cornea. These are injected into your eye and held in place with a bubble of gas. The procedure is usually done as a day case and you do not need to stay in hospital. It can be done with you awake after numbing the eye with some anaesthetic. The gas bubble instilled at the end of the operation will hold the new cells in place until they start to work, by which time the new transplant is firmly attached to your cornea. You will need to try and lie flat for as much as possible for two days following the surgery as this helps the graft stick and recover quickly, but you can get up to eat, drink, shower and use the loo. DMEC surgery is similar to other types of eye procedure you might be familiar with, such as cataract surgery. It takes around 30 minutes for a straightforward DMEC in a patient with Fuchs dystrophy although the DMEC surgery may be combined with cataract surgery or other procedures if necessary. In patients with more complex eye problems, additional surgical steps are usually necessary and this adds further time. After your surgery, I will ask you to lie flat for an hour and then I will come and check the gas bubble has a perfect pressure, making adjustments if necessary. DMEC surgery in patients with Fuchs dystrophy can restore the vision in a matter of week and last decades. It's important to check everything is working well following the transplant and you're not developing any side effects from drops and so we see you every week for the first two weeks. If all is well, the appointments can be spaced out, moving to monthly, three monthly and then once every six months. You will need to take some anti-inflammatory drops every few hours after the initial DMEC surgery, and these are gradually reduced down over the course of about three months to one drop a day. I might ask you to stay on a single drop of anti-inflammatory medication thereafter. Improving outcomes with DMEC was the focus of my PhD thesis, and many of the refinements to the DMEC procedure I have developed have been adopted in the UK and globally. The results of my techniques for DMEC are some of the best in the world, and my success rate is over 99% in patients with Fuchs dystrophy. The commonest problem following DMEC is needing a second air bubble, and fewer than 1 in 20 of my patients will need a second air bubble following the procedure. This compares very favourably to about one in four patients needing a second air bubble in other surgeons' hands. I also performed DMEC in very complicated eyes where many other surgeons who lack the experience of this technique would prefer to perform a full thickness transplant. In these cases, the risk of needing a second gas bubble is higher, but the benefits of DMEC are so overwhelming that performing DMEC would still be my preferred choice. I regularly publish research on DMEC and currently we are looking at ways to customise the graft to individual patients. I teach DMEC surgery all over the world 
and I'm a faculty member of the endothelial keratoplasty learners group that has helped teach over 2,000 eye surgeons DMEX surgery and other forms of endothelial replacement therapy. If you need DMEX surgery, you can be in no safer hands, and I look forward to using my expertise and experience to help you through this process.